If you've tried adding titles or overlay graphics into your 360 video in DaVinci Resolve, you might have noticed in the final delivery they look kind of bent. And in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of that and how to bring your graphics into 360. The reason this is happening is because of the acre rectangular distortion that 360 footage has. Because of the fact that it captures all sides and we're just more or less used to using titles for one side, not for the others. So bringing your titles into this projection is key. There are two main ways to do that. The first one is to use the LED long patcher, which is only available in the studio version. And the other one is to bring that into a 3D scene and render it with a spherical camera. Luckily for us, this method is also free. And I'm gonna show you both ways, starting with the LED long patcher. Now if you have your title in DaVinci Resolve, go with it into the Fusion, bring in a background and make it transparent. Then click Shift Spacebar to bring up the search tool and look for the LED long patcher. If you set the mode to extract, you can see that it's bringing you a one by one image, which is the side that is facing you basically. Because each of the quadrants that we have in these equirectangular views represents one of the sides that we have. You can orient the way you are facing by using the X, Y and Z controls in the LED long patcher to extract that view of the acre rectangular footage. Once you've extracted it, you can just merge your title on top of it and then copy your LED long patcher and set the mode to apply. Connect your media out and you're ready. The three version friendly approach would be to go into Fusion with that title. In Fusion, bring in an image plane 3D and slide it backwards a little bit into C space. Bring in a spherical camera by looking for it, pressing shift and space and merging that together into a merge 3D and add a render 3D at the end. In the render 3D, you want to set your camera to be the spherical camera. And if you want to save resources, you want to set the render type to OpenGL because this usually renders faster. But if you look on the output of the video, you see that it's now suddenly double the size, which is a bug in the spherical camera, which has been there for a long time. Trust me, it's only getting worse if you go into VR having two of these. To fix that, you want to go into the image tab of the render 3D, uncheck auto resolution and then divide your resolution by two. The last thing you need to do if you want to bring your title into 360 is to position it correctly. For that you can just slap a transform 3D effect between the image plane and the merge 3D and rotate it accordingly. And this is how you can position your title in your 360 video. But you can also position your title in 3D space using the camera tracker. And how you do that I show you in this video right here. 